Welcome. I'm double checking. I thought my lights were off. Welcome, welcome to co uh, to uh, coffee and cards and whispers and ink. Cheers, everybody. <sighs> the cats are jingling around behind me, you guys. <laughs> so, can you? Oh, wrong way. Can you see? Doesn't it look great? Okay. You're going to have to wait. You're going to have to wait. I hope everybody's having a great day. I am super excited to be here with you on Kitty Crafter Day. <laughs> um, You guys, I have two. Slow down. I'm apparently a little excited. You guys, they're running up and down the stairs and then in through the craft room and then back up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, good morning, everyone. Um, I hope that you are having an amazing day so far. Um, it's looking a little bright, which makes me very happy. Um, I have some fun things today. Super fun things, I think. Um, these are things, you guys, that I've talked about that I told you that I would show you. And we're going to do it today. Today is the day. So if you have questions about things, good morning, Nancy. Oh, if you have any questions about anything that you've seen in previous videos or that um, you said, hey, Jen, hey, Jen, you said you would talk to us about this. You got to put it in the comments section. Good morning. Um, you guys, I have Ooh, Sorry. Yikes. I thought I had the speaker turned down. Anyways, good morning, both Nancys. And I know Nancy has a friend with her this morning. Good morning. <laughs> All right. So the first one, Jingle Bells. That's the kitties running around, you guys. Um, the first one that I told you that I wanted to show you was how to set up the heart in the country bouquet. This is a two, sorry you guys, <laughs> two step stamp. And I'm gonna show you how to set that up on the Stamparatus because that is really the easiest way to do it. Do, do, do. I forgot to grab ink, you guys. Big surprise. Big surprise. I'm sure. Okay. So we're going to do it in sweet sorbet and in crumb cake because, you know, it's my choice. And then I have my stamparatus here. But I need my second piece. You guys, if you have not, good morning, Susan W. Guys, if you do not have a Stamparatus, good morning, Miss Paula. You guys, and Paula will tell you, I think anybody will tell you, I have my little air hockey table piece now, which has made it even better yet. But this makes things line up like a dream you guys I mean like seriously amazing I want to make sure that that heart's gonna fit in there so we're gonna pull and you guys you can see they're loved already we're gonna pull this off I want to make sure we probably could do it this way yep very good both of these and I always pick a spot generally in the middle not only that but I also pick a spot that's like in a corner of a grid actually I think this one and you guys be careful of the magnets supersonic magnets I did see that somebody said that they put duct tape on theirs good idea very very good idea I think I'm going to leave that up like that so you guys can see. So we've got this. We're arranging this, shimmying it around as I wiggle, wiggle. Um, 
kind of situate it where you want it and I'm going to pick it up with this piece. All right. Then I'm going to take, I always leave an ink pad under here. I'm going to take my sweet sorbet and we're going to ink that up and we are going to stamp this. Good morning, Trinket. Good morning, everybody. We're going to um, ink this up. Oh, you guys, I see it. I reset everything, so it's not me. We're gonna ink that. Good morning, Dan. Use my little air hockey table piece, and I'm gonna lift that up, and there's that stamp. Close up, because why not? There you go. Now we're going to arrange our second stamp. And do I have tips for arranging the second stamp? Not really. You gotta look at the open spots because there's, let me show you what I'm talking about. There's like little open spots in here. See those? Those little open spots are where like the flowers typically go or in this instance, like right here, there's hearts here. So I'm kind of arranging this making sure that I leave those little, oh, come on, those little spots open so that it will line up amazingly with our stamped already image. I know I love this set too. Now, I want to talk a minute, you guys. I want to talk a minute about this suite. Nancy made a comment about how she loves this stamp set. I love this two-step stamp here. But I want to talk a minute about this suite, you guys. The stamp is on back order. Can't get it at the moment. Or the punch, I mean. The stamp is available. The punch is on back order. Oh, the punch, you guys. So know that you can't get your bundle pricing right now however we're inking that up however all the um the designer series paper which we'll be using in a minute is available and the embellishments are available along with the stamp set so you guys can get you guys can get plenty of Valentines done with these parts and pieces. All right, so there's that. And then there's our hurt image. Just like that. And you guys, it's just a matter of using your Stamparatus. Now I can make like four or five of these if I wanted to because I know that I put these in the corner. I ink up my stamp. I put my vanilla piece on and we're good to go. However, I just wanted to show you how easy it was to make that look so pretty, you guys. Isn't it pretty? I love that. Oh, so pretty. Stamparatus to the rescue. I love my Stamparatus. All right, so lift this up and this because these need to be cleaned and it's easiest with the chamois. Who has chamois? I have chamois. I love me some chamois. Especially for Stamparatus usage, you guys. Chamois are key. And one of the reasons being is, let's see if you guys can see that. Can you guys see there's ink there? There's ink on there. So you use your chamois and it gets cleaned up lickety split. There we go. Done and done. All right, now, so that was one thing that I wanted to show you. 
And we're going to make a card with that, so don't worry. I have, I, have a, I have a plan today, you guys. Believe it or not. I do, I do. Okay. I'm going to get these off of here so I can go. You guys, I've been putting things away when I'm done with them. <gasps> I know, it's scary. It's scary. All right. This is done. Go put that back in my bag. Now, let's get to making the card with this. I have a layering piece that this is going to fit in. I'm just going to trim off my top. Grab my trimmer. So, I'm thinking... You guys, I know it's freezing, and I'm sorry. It's I have no idea what the deal is today. No idea. It's cloudy. Maybe that's what the problem is. I don't know. All right, so our heart is going to fit right in here. We are having internet. We're having internet issues all around i know paula was having issues the other day i know yesterday when i was doing videos they were terrible you guys so i'm really really sorry ahead of time i know the replay will be better but just so you know and it may not even be on my end because i have a green light on my end so it may be facebook i don't know all right so we've got our center or our centerpiece here and we're going to need some layers we're going to pull in a little bit of designer series paper, of course, to go with our heart. So we're going to put this together. <laughs> All right, I'm looking at my scraps here, you guys. And because, you know, we got to use up our scraps. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I already have this piece, you guys, and it's got gatefold scores on it. So that's what we're going to do. It's scored a two and an eighth on each end. And because I want to get rid of these big pieces in my scraps, this is what we're going to use. And then I'm going to re-trim this. So that this will fit in those little sections. So we've got that and that. And then some designer series paper. And let's see, what color should we use? Did I tell you guys that I found those dyes that I was looking for? I don't remember if I told you or not. If I had not told you, I did find them. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Scrap pieces. What do you guys think? I think I like that. Will this, how will this look with that on top? Oh, I'm not liking that. Mm, that's a possibility. That could be a possibility. Let's see what else we got. We've got stripes and hearts. I don't like the stripes. Not for this application. I think that either the hearts or the X's and O's. So you guys tell me the petal pink edition with the X's and O's or the hearts. X's and O's or hearts. You guys tell me. X's and O's or hearts. And this will tell you guys how long the lag is for me. <laughs> Not good. Okay. So, with that, you guys, so I can get your answer, I'm going to show you the second thing that I wanted to show you. Do you follow me on YouTube? Do you go to YouTube and watch videos? You guys, I made this huge 
heart full of pockets with designer series paper and I added another little love note pocket in here but I want to show you how to make a card front size of this I said in my YouTube video that I would share that today so that's what I'm going to do but for this one I'm going to be using the country gingham part of this paper pack and I think <laughs> I think we're going to go with the big sweet sorbet on that one And this one, you guys, is super easy. I'm leaving my parts out here so I don't forget that we still have to do this, you guys. So that's what I'm waiting to hear from you guys. But, oh, I don't know that I want the blue on the back side. All right, that's going to be an issue. Oh, this gingham will work because it'll have green. I would rather have green, red and green. And that's something, unfortunately, that you need to think about. All right, I'm going through here, double checking. That striped petal pink with a little bit of sweet sorbet is super cute. I think that's what we're going to go with, though. So, um, I hear you guys talking about this, the air hockey thing. I found these in a four-pack, you guys, on Amazon. Okay. So, I'm going to put this one back. I really like that one. But, because on this, you guys, as you can see... You need to like both sides of the paper, okay? So we're going to make this, but you have to love both sides. So I'm thinking mint macron and sweet sorbet, but you guys can use any color that you want, all right? So now what we have to do is we have to go ahead and take this and fold it in half. like this so that we make a rectangle morning Carmen okay then we're going to take this again you guys and we're going to fold it up like this So we've got a square once again, and you're going to want those little, those four looser pieces up at the top here. You want the joints, if you will, to be here and here on the bottom facing you because it's, I'm right here. I want it facing me. Okay. Oh, coffee cheers, you guys. Hmm. Anyways, we're going to take this and we're going to fold the first little piece. We're folding it down and you want it down, down, down in the corner as far as you can get it without tearing the paper. So now it's, you've got one flap here, and the next flap you're going to fold like that. Try to make it as even as you can. And fold with your bone folder. Again, same thing. 
leave an even space just like this. So we've got one flap left and this is what it looks like so far. Okay, now we're taking this last one. We're taking this last one and we're folding it. So now we have kind of a diamond shape and we've got our sweet sorbet and mint macaron every other one. Next, we're gonna tuck all these little flaps in. And then this one. So that it looks like that. Much cleaner look this way. But you're gonna need some big scissors. And you guys, I'm not kidding, you need some big scissors. So utility scissors or something like that. So we're gonna take this without scoring it. We're gonna loosen this up a little bit. And we're gonna put those two joints together. And remember in school when you were a kid, how we made paper hearts. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna Da, 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 da. pinch just a little bit up at the top and we're going to create our heart da, da, da. and each heart is going to be different depending on how you cut it. All right, so now we have excess here, but you don't wanna cut that off just yet. If you guys saw my video on YouTube, we're gonna wait and glue first, and then we'll trim, okay? All right, so what I wanna do is, you guys, I'm gonna take this with very little glue, very little, because it will ooze all over the place, which is why we're cutting last in hopes that the paper will catch it. But you're gonna want your silicone craft sheet. <laughs> you guys, Donnie is ringing my um my wind chime that's in the family room <laughs> all right and then again over here like that and then Next level, a little bit over here, and then a little bit. We got a little ooze over here, which is good. This is why I wait to trim. A little bit over there. Do, do, do. Come on, come on. Okay, and then our last piece, if you cut it right, you don't have to glue this portion, but I do typically put a little dab of glue on the end here, there, so that stays in place. And then a little bit of glue there little bit of glue there and silicone craft sheet. 
Okay, now, we're leaving this for something else. All right, now we've got all of our sides glued down. Now we're going to clean this up just a little bit. Just make clean it up so it looks pretty. Round out your edges a little bit. So there's our cleaned up edge. There we go. And then we're going to do the same here. And then my tip after that, there's our heart. Don't close your scissors. You're going to want to take your alcohol wipes, you guys, that everybody should have, okay? And you're going to want to wipe your scissors and get that glue off. <gasps> Without... Oh without cutting your finger. Shoot, I was pressing too hard. Oh, dang it. Did I see a Band-Aid in here? No. All right. Injury, cracking injury, you guys. All right. Just a paper cut, kind of. Let's see if I can get it to stop. If not, I'm going to have to run and go get a Band-Aid. Yep, I'm going to have to run and get a Band-Aid because I don't want to get, I don't want to get glue on everything, you guys. And this needs to, be, oh, see? That's why. Dang it. All right. Crafting injury. I'm going to have to make that over now, darn it. All right, let me get a Band-Aid. I'm sorry, but you guys look, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Hopefully this will be big enough. Darn it. All right. All right, I got tried to get just a small band-aid, you guys. Cuz I didn't want Yeah. <laughs> oh, Nancy, you cracked me up. All right. Band-aids. All right, fine, you guys. All right. Oh, dang it. Dang it, dang it. All right. So this is going to be my sample one, you guys. And we're not going to make a card with this. But just so you guys know how to put this together, you can. I personally like the red. Okay. I pulled, popped this up like this. Like that. Popped it up that way and then just put a little sign on there. This still has pockets. You could fit a note in one in one piece of candy, particularly if it's a skinny piece of candy. You could fit it in there. But you guys, I'm not going to keep it because of the blood that's on there because <laughs> that's kind of gross. 
But anyway, so you guys get the idea about this. Oh, all right. So let's see. You guys have not even gotten to the point where I injured myself yet. All right. Band-Aids in there. This is tough. Tough, tough, tough. All right. While I'm waiting, because you guys are super close to where I need you to be, <laughs> I'm going to glue this on my card base. On my edges here. There. And then this one. And then key to the gate, you guys, when you've got the layers like this, you want to make sure that either the top, you'd be lucky if you have both top and bottom that would line up. And then I'm going to glue this onto this, but I think I'm going to grab some twine first. I'm going to add some twine first. And just so that you guys know, today, if you guys are local to me, you guys, I am having open craft room today. Bring a kit, bring a class, bring a project that you need some help with, whatever. Um, actually, I think I'm going to wait. Um, um. I'm going to glue this onto this. There. And then I'm going to put twine on this side right here. Okay, and then a bow. Two D two. Not a lot of singing today, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm concentrating. This injury has really got me. All discombobulated now okay so there's our bow shorten that up just a little bit hey Sharon do you know does um, Joann's have scissor sharpening still by chance? I just saw you pop in. Okay. Tr Trinket said we should do the hearts. So that's what we're going to do. And let's see, we did. I'm going to do a little reveal. That. Yeah, that. I want to do a skinny reveal on this one. And then this. And 
this. But I'm not going to throw those away. We're going to glue this. Onto here like that. So we're going to do that. I like that. Hi, Lisa. All right. So with that, we are done with this part. We need some stamping. because this is gonna go up here. So like that, that's gonna be our front. Okay, I love that. And so we're gonna use dimensionals on here. Shimmy, shimmy, Cocoa Pop this over. And then, I want this a little bit low, just a little. And I'm putting the dimensionals on this part, on this part, because that way then I don't have to worry about it going over. So this is gonna go here. Probably could put one more, yeah, one more dimensional up here. There we go just like that. And then we're going to take our vanilla for our inside. And I'm going to put our little red heart panels on here. So that we don't, oh man. So that we don't lose anything or waste anything. Because it worked out perfectly, you guys, that those hearts worked right in the middle so i have to use them just have to all right you guys i think that we're going to start a new series on jennifer show us how to do it whether you can find things that you um that i said that i'd show you how to do or that um we saw somewhere and we wanted to know how to do it um that would be cool now i do do a lot of fun folds at mystery card night you guys and so anything like that will go to mystery card night Oh, I have some extra hearts here. Don't need that Hello Handsome, but these two, that one and this one, actually that one and this one would be super cute in there. I like that. So we don't have to stamp the inside. You guys, should we leave this unstamped except for the front image? That would be very scary. I think it would be cool though. What do you guys think? Should we leave it unstamped? There we go. So here's our inside. And there's our card. Now you could embellish if you so chose, but you don't have to. So, with that, 
you guys. We have our two projects that I showed you that I said I would show you how to make. So we've got the heart and we've got how to stamp that image. You guys, if you stuck it out to the end, you deserve a gold star. Um, I don't know why. And I'm super duper sorry, you guys. But I do appreciate you even coming back and watching the replay, you guys. Because... It is much better on the replay once it uploads entirely. And there, I know this because I've gone back and checked it myself. I want you to know, though, that I'm serious. Let me know. Should we start a series, Jennifer, show us how to do it? Because I think that might be kind of fun. Because um, it's not about me, you guys. It's about you. What do you want to learn? What do you... I still have one more technique that I want to show you guys. So I have one thing because it was something that I found on accident because I did it myself, but it looks super cool. So I got to show it to you guys. But tell me what you guys think about doing a series like that. Maybe once a month on the last Saturday of the month, like today. I think that would be kind of cool. Um... So I hope that you guys have a great day getting crafty today. Um, I'm sending hugs and smooches and coffee cheers to you guys. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Enjoy your crafter day, you guys. Um, and hopefully next week. Hopefully. 